Today we are going to be discussing geometry, specifically equations in geometry. When we look at the, the methodology that we need to apply, we need to look at the laws or the skills, the laws or the foundations. We also need to look at the additional skill sets we require and we need to know which strategies we can apply in order to solve any problem that we are given. So as discussed in the previous lesson, we need to know how to apply the concept of fuzzy x or fun. We also need to know the concept of complementary angles and we need to know the concept of angles around the point, which was also discussed. The angles around the point was discussed in the previous section. I will discuss complementary angles with you now. Complementary angles add up to 90 degrees. So if we look at this, if we look at this here, if this is 60 degrees, then that one will be 90 minus 60, which is equal to 30 degrees. Which skills do we require? We need to know our basic algebra skills. Um, for example, like terms, where we know that x plus 2x is equal to 3x. And we also need to know how to solve equations. With equations, we have a left-hand side, we have a right-hand side, and our aim is always to solve for x. So you need to be able to do equations in this section of work. Now, which strategies will we employ? The first thing that we always want you to do is remember that whenever you have a statement, you need to make sure you have a corresponding reason. You'll get a mark for your statements. We always want to use the given information. So have a look at what they give you. If they say a particular angle is 70 degrees, see if you can't find any other angles also equal to 70 degrees. The third thing you need to do in geometry is always look for your fuzzy X letters in your sketch. Look for the corresponding, look for the co-interior alternate, vertically opposite, and angles on a straight line. Let's look at the following sum. We have 2x plus 30 and on this side we have 50 degrees. Now what is this? This is which shape? So let's go back to your... What did we do? We did our foundations and our laws and we did our skills and we did strategies. So, so that's your foundation. You need to look for those fuzzy X letters. Do you see the Y shape? That's a Y shape. So that is, it's angles on a straight line. So we can go ahead and make the statement that 2X plus 30 plus 50 degrees is equal to 180 degrees. Why? Because they are supplementary angles. What do we need to do now? We need So 2x is equal to 180 degrees minus 80 degrees and 2x will be equal to 100. There. And now in this sum we see that we've got 2x plus 50 which is equal to 90 degrees. So we write down statement and we write down our reason. We can then go ahead and say that 2x plus 10 plus 50 is equal to 90. Now 10 degrees plus 50 degrees is equal to 60 degrees. But we must remember that we want our x's on the left hand side and we want our constants on the right hand side. So we've got to take that 60 over and when we do that, the sign changes. So we have 2x is equal to 30, but remember we need to solve for x. So what must we do? We must divide by 2 on both sides. Because according to the law of equations, what you do on the left, you must do on the right. And once you divide, you'll find that x is equal to 50. Now here you should have identified the x shape of your fuzzy x. So if you have a look at this, we'll see 
that that makes the X shape and that's what we are going to be looking at at the moment. Um, we've got 2x minus 20 which will be Now what's our reason for that? Our reason is that the angles are vertically opposite because with our X shape we always find that they are vertically opposite angles that are going to be equal. So 2x minus 20 is equal to 20, 80 degrees. What do we need to do? We need to solve for x. What does that mean? It means that you want your x's on the left and you want your constants on the right. So 28 plus 20 degrees will give you 48 degrees, but we need to get the x alone. So we need to divide by the number in front of the x. 2x divided by 2 um, on the left and 48, div 48 divided by 2 on the right. And this gives us a value of 24 degrees. And let's look at this. This is why we made the statement y is equal to 180 degrees minus 28 degrees. Why? Because these angles are supplementary. They are what we say are angles on a straight line. These your straight line and these two angles together must add up to 180 degrees. So 180 degrees minus 28 degrees Let's look at our final sum for today. We see here we've got x and we've got 65. Now what do you need to look for? You need to look for your fuzzy x. You need to look for your letters. What letter do you see there? You see the U shape. So let's have a look at that. And So we say that x is equal to 180 degrees minus 65 degrees. Why? Because the angles are co-interior and you know that co-interior angles add up to 180 degrees. So 180 minus 65 is equal to So you should have been able to identify the Z shape. Now the Z shape is what type of angle? It's an alternate angle. Okay? And alternate angles are equal. So we've got 3y plus 20 is equal to 44y minus 45 degrees. What's our reason? Because the angles are alternate. And where do we want our, our y's? We want our y's on the left hand side. So 3y minus 4y is equal to negative 45 minus 20. Now 3y minus 4y, that gives us negative y. And minus 45 minus 20 gives us minus 65. However, you need to remember that they haven't called us to solve for negative y. They have call, called us to solve for y. And in order for us to solve for y, we need to divide the entire expression by negative 1, giving us a value of positive 65. Thank you for watching with us.